Hi everyone, I'm Savannah from ProMUA.com. Today I'm going to be doing my floral arrangement inspired makeup tutorial for June 2012. And the flowers that we've got for this month, uh, this beautiful arrangement, it's actually like a table centerpiece. It's perfect for a tea party or a garden party with your girlfriends or a really romantic, um, a romantic date night very soft and sweet. There are some beautiful and dramatic orchids as well as calla lilies in a deep kind of a maroon color and these spray roses that smell divine I have to tell you and uh, hydrangea and there's also some fresh ivy in there. It's just exquisite. So this gave me a lot of inspiration. I didn't know which direction I was going to go in with makeup, but I decided to do a little bit of a mixture of retro, vintage, art deco, a little bit of the 20s inspired in the brow and in the lip color, um, but a little bit softer in the eye color um, than a normal uh, art deco 1920s look. So um, hopefully you like this tutorial and keep watching. So I'm going to go straight to working with the eyes. First off, I'm going to put on a waterproof primer by Gosh. This is uh, called Love That Gold, and it's just kind of like a stick, um, a cream shadow almost. And I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my eyes, just over right up to the crease. doesn't have to be super tidy, but you do just want a light layer, otherwise it'll get kind of um, like too heavy and it'll show any creases and that sort of thing. Next I'm going to take a really light pigment powder. Um, the one that I'm using is from Faces, which is manufactured by MAC as well, or in the same facility, and it is just kind of like an ivory yellowy tone, but it's not it's not quite as yellow as that one. That one's more gold, um, but this one's just really like a nice loose uh, loose powder. I'm gonna use a fluffy eyeshadow brush like the 217, and um, just take that loose powder and apply it all over the apple of the eye, pressing it in rather than wiping it. Just on top of the eyeshadow primer. I'm blending it in just above the crease. Next, taking a really pale blue eyeshadow, I'm going to use uh, the third from the top there, this one here, and that pretty much matches the hydrangeas and the arrangement exactly. I'm just going to use a uh, 239 brush by MAC. It's kind of like a, a flat shadow brush, um, not as fluffy as the 217, fluffy as the 217, um, but it's uh, got a bit of a shorter bristle. And I'm just going to put this um, kind of on the outer edges of the apple of my eye. I don't want to go past um, kind of where my middle mark, my pupil, uh, in the inner corner. I'm kind of making a C. I'm making, uh, going along the lash line but then up to the crease and into the crease, just on the outer edges. And then I'm also gonna bring it down underneath the lower lash line. Using that 217 brush again, I'm just gonna blend in um, along the crease and just make sure that it's nice and smooth, the transi transition from the cream color into the blue. Next I'm going to take a white or um, lighter loose powder and a fluffy uh, crease brush 
and use it as a highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes, under my brow, and just on top of the cheekbone. Taking a white liner pencil, I'm just going to do the inner water lines of my eyes. Using a fine shadow liner, like uh, the 208, I'm going to use um, just a matte um, black shadow and give a nice soft line. I'm not gonna use a pencil or a liquid liner for this look. And as close as I can get to the lash line as possible. Using a really heavy black mascara, high impact mascara by Clinique is pretty cool. I've got the little sample from their promotion. Um, the brush is really full so it gets um, every single hair and I'm just going to put a really heavy coat of uh, mascara on. Next I'm going to take a 266 or a, um, a bit thicker of an angled liner brush and I'm going to use a little bit heavier, darker brow than I normally use. Um, I'm just going to mix um, a matte charcoal brown shadow and a little bit darker of a hue, almost uh, like a brown black, um, that second one there, to get a little bit heavier of a brow. For the brow shape, I've gone just underneath my arch, natural arch, and out, and then along the tops of the inner corner of my brow, and why I do that is that I almost want it to look like they're straight, I don't want them to have a big arch. and use your dry spool to brush them out. For cheeks, I'm gonna mix two different colors. I'm gonna mix um, a more neutral pink and then a more raspberry color, um, just to get a little bit of a different look than my natural one. And rather than bringing it right up into the hairline, I'm just going to leave it a little bit more in a triangle shape um, here, to here, to here. Next, I'm going to use kind of a, a purpley. Um, wine colored lipstick and this is inspired by the color in the calla lily in the arrangement and uh, I'm just going to use it um, sparingly almost like it's a stain and using um, I'm just using the 316 lip brush by MAC and I'm just going to dab it into my lip rather than wiping it on and applying it that way I'm 
gonna start on the outer edge, as you can see, just to get the shape because I'm not using a lip liner. And I'm just gonna get the shape and then I'm kind of gonna pull it on uh, to the inner inside of the lip. So once you've got kind of like a stain on the outer edges, um, just use a clear jelly gloss and just apply it to the inner, inner lips. And there we go, a complete garden party look that's a little bit vintage, a little retro, um, very soft and beautiful and inspired by these beautiful flowers from Marcella Ryan. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon in the world of YouTube. Bye!